Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will learn how to download and install MySQL on Mac OS. We will install two type of MySQL. One is server, MySQL server 8.0.31. Also you will download MySQL or where we are going to write our SQL query Okay, so let's download the server first, MySQL server. So open any browser and type MySQL community server. Then you will see the link, download MySQL community server. Click on that. Based on your operating system on a Mac, it will select all the version. So I will download Mac OS 12. So click download. I already download so it should be in my download folder. So after you download, it should be in your download, download folder. Now we are going to install. So double click on it. Then double click again. You will see some alert message for this. So now what do you have to do? Click on the Apple logo. Then click system settings. So I just, uh, Upgrade my software uh, for Mac. So the new version of the software uh, operating system for Mac is display system settings. But if you have older version, it should say system preferences. So click system settings. Uh, let, let me uh, click OK here. Make sure you click OK. Then uh, scroll down to the I am looking for privacy. Uh, pro click on privacy and security. You scroll down and you see uh, MySQL 8.0.31. The message is there. So you have to make it allowed here. Click op open anyway. I have to provide my Mac password. Click modify settings. Error should be gone. Close this window. Now, another alert message is pop up. Mac OS cannot verify the developer of MySQL. So just click open. Another alert will come up. Uh, come up. So just click allow. So now installation process will be start. So click continue. Continue, click agree. I will leave everything by a default location. Click install. I have to provide my Mac password again. Install software. I have to provide the password. Click next. I'm going to provide the password here. So make sure you uh, make a check mark here. You start MySQL server once the installation is complete. So that means uh, you don't have to manually uh, run, manually start the server. It will be uh, as soon as you open your computer, my SQL server will be always running. Okay. So let me write it down this uh, password somewhere. I may get, I may forget that. So make sure you keep note this password. Otherwise, you have to do the installation again. We forget this. Click finish. Now I have to provide my Mac password again. Click OK. So uh, thank you for installing MySQL server. So everything look good. Now I'm going to click, uh, move to trash uh, from the download folder. I don't need this one anymore. So it has been moved. So now if you click my uh, Apple logo again, click system settings. 
and on the search box, search my school. You see my school, now you see, uh, you can stop server, but I don't stop it right now uh, because we are going to install my school as well. So our server, uh, my school server has been downloaded and installed successfully. I'm going to close this one. Second, we are going to download and initial my school workbench where we can write our uh, SQL query. So once open any browser again, this time type download my school workbench. Then you will see the link like this, download my school workbench, click on it. My school, let me see this one, download my school workbench, download my school workbench. And my school Mac OS. So if you click this on, let me download this. No oh, thanks. So actually I already download before I uh, record this video. So now let's open in a finder. So you see, I have two of them. So clearly just click one of them. Um, I'm going to click the, the one I just download. As soon as you double click on it, you will see something like this. So just put your cursor on my school orbits and drag it in the application folder. So now it will, it will uh, move MySQL to the application folder. So it will take a few seconds. So it has been complete. Now I can double check. So I'm going to uh, go to uh, click on applications. See MySQL is here, double click on it. Click open. So my school open should be open. So I already used my school before and I have a few database. Uh, so for you, you should see a default database like this one, local instance 3306, so double click on it. So provide the password. So you have to provide the password that you, um, you have to provide the password, like when we download and install the server, that time you create a password, right? So we are going to use the same password. Click okay. So it has been successfully uh, uh, download and install the MySQL. Okay, so thank you.